What up, y'all? Appreciate you showing up, hanging out, listening to my dumb ass. Like and subscribe. So, seems like the list keeps getting longer. Silent Hill 2. Now is the issue on the PlayStation 5 Potato. The PlayStation 5 Potato. I mean, look, I, ju- I just did a video yesterday about wh- what was the game? I can't remember so many games. <laughs> First was Alan Wake 2. Then it was the game I said yesterday. And now, Silent Hill 2. I, I, look, I, once again, I don't make this up. It's Digital Foundry. They made it up. They didn't make it up. They said it. And so, performance wise, it's what? Five or six frames above the standard regular PlayStation 5 amateur? Is that worth $700? Is that worth $800? Over $800? Is it? Even if you trade it in, still another? No? I don't think so. And now, I looked at the image. They had side-by-side images. I'm like, okay, so this one has higher frame rate. Okay, but the images is hot trash garbage. So I'm thinking to myself, what if the regular PlayStation 5 Amateur had the exact same image issues quality? Wouldn't it boost the frame rate? So it would pretty much be the same. Once again, proving that the Pro It's hot trash garbage, not worth it. Why would you buy it? Doesn't make any sense. I'm like, oh man, it's it's ridiculous. And it's just, it just, it just, I want, I want to see what the the, the ponies and the donkey, I want to see what they got to say about this. I mean, it was shimmering like, like it was the Saturn. And y'all, if y'all know, if you know, then you know. But yeah, it was shit. I'm like, how? This is a pro. This is like supposed to be a super dope fly. And it's not, it's not that. It's not that. And here's the thing. Here's the worst thing about that. I watched it on my phone and I saw the difference. I'm like, wait. I mean, my phone ain't, you know, my phone's whatever. It's not like a super phone or whatever. I don't even actually know what the actual result. Maybe it's 1080p. I, I mean, you know, sure. It's not a 4K phone, obviously. I mean, the, the screen itself. But I watched. I actually watched the clip. And here's the other bad thing about it. I watched the clip on Twitter. And I could tell the difference. And I'm like, wow. It's, it's, that's how bad it is. When you can watch a clip on Twitter. Because Twitter like, Twitter squashes everything. And I'm looking at Twitter. I'm like, damn. I can see it through the super compression on Twitter. Which is like double compressed from YouTube. Which is where they usually get their. I mean, I don't know if they upload directly to Twitter. Digital Foundry. I, don't, I think they just clip out their YouTube stuff, which is compressed. So it's double, triple compressed. Still, you can see the huge difference. I'm like, man. Because, you know, the compression, if you got, like, bad stuff happening, and the compression will kind of it'll muddy the water so you can't see all the bad stuff so crispy. But this was crispy, crunchy, bad stuff. I was like, wow. That's, yeah. I don't, I don't see. I'm going to talk about the Game Awards later, but. I don't see how, you know, PlayStation and, and how how are they going to sell as many consoles, as many PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 5 potatoes. I don't see how they're going to sell a lot of them with the news. Like, because a lot of, a lot of the times <clears throat> what happens in the zeitgeist and stuff influences sales, obviously. If everybody's like, yo, it's dope, it's fly, it's crazy, nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then people are like, oh, well, let me go buy it. But, you know, it's not an impulse buy. So you have to be like, yeah, I really, really want it. I got my mind made up, blah, blah, blah. But that's not the case with PlayStation. The PlayStation 5 Potato. It is being ridiculed. A lot of people say, well, there's a lot of caveats. Like, oh, well, if you don't have a PlayStation 5 and if you have a lot of money, disposable income, then sure, go buy it. Other than that, which is most of the people, the general population, the casuals, if you will, they, they're not rope. They're not balling like that. They got families. They're not gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy a PlayStation 5 Pro when they got like five kids. They can buy everybody a Switch or a PlayStation 5 Pro. Come on, son. Buy the Switch for your babies. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's why the Switch sells so many, because it's like cheap enough. They buy the two ninety the one ninety nine version. Every kid gets a switch. Everybody's happy. You want the pink one? You want the yellow one? You want the blue one? Good. You know, and Papa's like, well, I can't buy a PlayStation 5 Pro because, 
It ain't in the budget. I got to make the, the babies happy first. You know, I don't know if so. I mean, Sony's they 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 have smart people over there, Sony. Like I say, they're dumb. Uh, but I know their priorities are shifting. They're they're trying to be that premier brand uh, without. I don't think they've earned it yet. If that makes sense, they've always tried to posit it th- themselves as the premier brand, but. I don't think they've earned it yet because their success is based off of, you know, before when the first PlayStation came out, it was way cheaper than the Saturn. I I think it was $299, right? If if I'm not mistaken. Saturn was $399. They've always been like 100 bucks cheaper than their competition. So the the notion that they're a premier product, that wasn't the the jump that wasn't how it started that's not how playstation started and so i know sony deems them that you know deems them they want to pretend that they're premier you know with their tv prices and stuff but we're just talking about playstation right now and so if you look at the history of playstation and their pricing yes they've created like uh what was it the playstation the psx or whatever it was that was a playstation 2 with um I think it had a hard drive, and it was just a big white box. I can't, I can't remember what, what was actually in it, but I was like, okay, it's just a PlayStation Two, but it's got extra stuff in it, so you charge more. All right, that, that's for the whales. They didn't make a lot of them, and that's fine. But this is not prop. This is not posited as that. This is a mid-gen upgrade, which is supposed to be accessible for everyone. This is a casual type of thing. If they would have said, this is special edition PlayStation 5 Extreme Pro or something like that, and I mean, I don't know how much they're gonna, how many they're going to make, um, but once again, PlayStation, they, they messed up on a pl- the PlayStation 1, cheap, PlayStation 2, cheap, PlayStation 3, not cheap, and they bid it, and they and they they should have learned. I mean, they learned they had to drop the price and still lose money. They learned that they shouldn't make a super expensive console. That's what they learned. PlayStation Four cheaper than the Xbox One. You know, was it that their the history of their success is based off of them having a cheaper console and the perception that their console was better. And in, in the case of PlayStation Four, it was better than Xbox One, but the PlayStation 5 not better than the Xbox Series X but it is about perception and they had a they had a cheaper price per uh, versus the Xbox Series X so it's kind of the same but that that is the one thing that they have consistently gained momentum and followers and users and and that's the thing the cheaper console, the cheapest console, and the perception that it's a better console. This is not that. And, you know, history will dictate that they went through this with the PlayStation 3. They have not learned, obviously. I, I know they're trying to make up some money and stuff, but it doesn't make sense. Now, I was going to, I'm not going to talk about it. I'll probably talk about it with the Game Awards, or maybe I'll make two separate videos as far as the. I'm trying to buy the Elden Ring uh, FromSoft uh, publisher people or whatever. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know how that works because um, I have to look into it because I don't. I don't know if the publisher owns FromSoft, so I think it does uh, based off of the little articles I've seen. But whatever, we'll talk about that later. But anyway, let me know in the comments below what y'all think about the whole. PlayStation 5 Potato, it's not, it's not working out. More and more games come out, and they're bad, and then they're like, they're bragging, oh, this, this game is enhanced. Is that one of the games that was enhanced? The, the Silent Hill 2 is enhanced for the, for the Pro, and you look at it, and it's like, okay, it has higher frame rates, but the, the image quality is bad. So, how is that enhanced? I mean, technically, sure, you have higher frame rates by five frames. But everything else is trasher, Tr- trasher. Everything else is m- more garbage. What? It just, <laughs> it just keep, 
as the, the longer it keeps, the, the further we get into this, the more that we realize that the PlayStation 5 potato is hot trash garbage and it's not worth 800 and some dollars. That's it. That's it. And that's all. But I appreciate y'all. And I'll check y'all on the next one. Tilt the weight.